time for Nerdgasm. Hey, what's up guys? Jerry here, aka Barnacles, and I'm here at PDX Land 28 down here in Portland, Oregon, near the PDX Airport. They've had a lot more lands than 28 apparently, but anyways, this one's still called 28. You can go to the website and figure it out. But I figured I would give you guys a little tour of all the cool computers that are here because I'm in a room that houses about 500 people that are all playing video games. And we're gonna go see what they're playing on. All right, so this is the beverage tank where we all get our massive amounts of caffeine that allow us to function with only three hours of sleep. Except for it says nope on the box. So I'm thinking that that's like, I can't have one right now. Now I'm sad. Here we have the command center where all the awesome hacksaws of PDX land lower over us, the peasant people playing our video games. They actually have a case modding competition going on and there are some awesome entries into this check this out so here we have just like a little like micro itx build or even smaller we have a fire extinguisher case got some flames got a badass medieval helmet case here we go there's the minecraft vibe i know a lot of you guys like the old minecrafts james you build a pretty badass case mod that's epic oh and that isn't modded at all that's just msi trying to trying to show you what the base model looks like before they do all that stuff to it. There's Rob making his video. Go check him out, Darth Tigger 501 Did you know he's Canadian? All right, that's enough, Rob. All right, so check out this Inwin case. It's got this infinity mirror that's actually really cool. It makes it look like an empty box. I think it actually looks really cool. Inwin has always made some pretty cool cases. Lots of glass. This, this one's cool. I really, really like this like massively open design. Oh yeah, guys, I'm wearing my pajama pants. You like that? NVIDIA, because it's not AMD. Hey bro, you need to tell me more about those man yoga pants. So they're by Prada, they're like, they're not super tight, but they're loose and they're flowy, they're uh -huh. super stretchy, so I can like, I can stretch. Nice. Yeah. Do, they, do, do they come in, in, in my sexy size? Oh, uh, they might, I don't know. Okay, can I stretch them on like a fish skin, like? Probably not. Oh. Now I really like this layout at the land where they bring like this little shelf and put the screen underneath it. I really need to do that next time I come here. I just need to figure out where to buy a little one like that. But check out this case. This is pretty cool. It's like not a ton of modding done to it, but it's got like really, really cool stripes on it. It looks like it's maybe like vinyl stickers. I can't tell, it might be paint. But that looks pretty cool. Then we got an all too familiar Case Labs build right here. If you guys remember, I have a Case Labs M10. It was the first liquid cooled system I ever built was in that case. And I still own it today. All right, so this is Mr. Rod Rosenberg who thinks he's all like hot shit because he got a trophy here. It's my very for his first computer. trophy for participating. Dude, look, is that, was that just a participation? No, no. lies, lies. No. Everybody gets a trophy. Everybody gets, Everybody gets a trophy. Well, it's not a ribbon like yours. <laughs> I didn't get a <laughs> Not even a ribbon? What about a belt? Do you have a belt? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take it off, please. So what do you got here? This pro what prototype in win? Yeah, this is a prototype in win chassis. It's the S box. Are you kidding me? Hold on, I'm zooming in on this. Self-proclaimed victor. Put it on. <laughs> All right, so back to this. Sorry, squirrel. Yes. All right. So this is just a totally vanilla build, no modding. Uh, but it's done in an in-wind prototype chassis that they said not to produce called the S-Box. And I think it's a killer chassis. It, it is a really cool case. And so people should bug in and tell them to produce this. Yeah, so guys, bug in -win. All, all 700 and some odd thousand of you. Uh, I like that you're like showcasing your trophy for case modding on top of this like generic build right. though. That's yeah, like, yeah. are you trolling the PDX land today? GeForce GTX, cause it's not AMD. Ooh, okay, check out this pretty case. The rose How old's the girl this belongs to? 3D she's, she's, she's the younger. She's up. like 10? Yeah, wow. Like wow. Yeah. Okay, so we got the rose. That's the reservoir inside of it, right? Yep. yep. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Now we got the, the chocolate milk coolant. The side is all folded in here. That's really cool. So the motherboard's backlit. You can see the graphics card down here at the bottom with a ribbon cable connecting it and the bubbler. Then we come around the other side. That's where some of the magic happens. You got nice bent tubes. Oh man, look at all those SSDs. Who needs that many SSDs? Jeez. Okay, I'll admit that that is a pretty build but it's not as pretty as the one I'm gonna show you. All right, so I have to say personal preference here, but I think this is the coolest computer at PDX Land that I've probably ever seen here. The most unique, definitely. But you can see this giant, what is this, like a centipede? Yep. Yep. So you got a giant centipede, you got, it's, it's holding its own reservoir right here. This is badass, you can see it's all spread out, all the components inside of it. You can see it looks like we got a GPU. Down there we got the main board and everything right here. And all the wires coming down, running through it. Looks like we got some pumps down here in the bottom, and some fans and the radiators. It's a completely functional computer. All the segments of this thing serve a purpose, and that is just 
that is just absolutely badass. This is the, I would say, let me know down in the comments what you guys think, but I would say this is probably one of the coolest custom computer builds Comment number one. I've ever seen. The legs look like bananas. The legs look like bananas. Okay, you had to say that. You had to say that, but no, no, look up close. Like bananas. Only because the paint job, though. Like, okay, it's got it's it's the it's the banana leg centipede. It's the banana leg centipede. species. You had to point out the one flaw, but it doesn't matter. It's still so badass. I didn't even notice. And here's Kevlar Condoms Wilson build. This is actually the duplicate doppelganger of my machine from Puget Systems, although it has better CPU, better memory, better graphics cards. Pretty, pretty much all around better. But he's sleeping, so he can't tell us about his build. Dude, you guys got to see this. This is epic. Check this out. This is all custom right here. What, what case is this? This is an I Don't Know brand case. I think you need to go to I Don't Know.com. Hopefully that's not a porn site. Uh, and it looks like we have some gaffer tape here. Um, to promote better airflow and positive air pressure inside of the case. Don't forget the IDE drives that don't, aren't plugged in. Anymore. I do like the IDE drives and they're, they're purely aesthetic. They're not plugged in. You notice that they're white faces in a black case because they're trying to bring back that 90s retro vibe. <laughs> the, the hat really sets it off too. It definitely brings out the redneck. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that looks really familiar. You guys are going to see that in an upcoming video. Although uh, 3D Printing Nerd printed it much, much larger. Ladies. Oh, people, people know that I like the jammy pants. The jammy pants. Caselabs.com. Wow, your cases are getting smaller. Yeah, are you guys having financial problems? What's going on here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little lack of material? Yeah. R rolled steel apparently got really expensive. No, this is cool. It's nice to see you guys building like some small stuff like this. I would love to put an HTPC in that. I would love to. We might, we might have to make that happen. Uh, just wave a magic wand. Yeah, I got one of those. All right, so this definitely wins for the coolest chair here at PDX Land. Looks like the stock seat out of a Honda Civic Si, bolted onto some wood, bolted onto some caster wheels. That that's just epic. They got a nice big plush dragon here you can hug on if you feel the need. <gasps> Whoa! It's a full computer, dude. Is that one of those compute compute card thingamajiggers? Compute stick. You know, you know what those are good for? Emulators. Emulators. Oh my gosh! You stick one of those on the back of a TV. Emulator Central. Plex streamer. Oh yeah, yeah. Plex is awesome. Yeah, I use Plex. Or, or or Netflix. Yeah, dude. I use Plex with Synology. You ever use any of the Synology stuff? I do. Oh, dude, it's epic. I, use I love it. Cloud system. Oh, I love it. I love a cloud drive. My cloud drive syncs with Dropbox. Nice. Which is kind of an inception loop. Oh, well, dude, you run an awesome event. Thank you. You keep it up. Thank you. And I will keep coming. All right. Forever and ever. Although one of these times I'm gonna need to come over to like the nice neighborhood over there with like a nice seat. So I don't really let you over here in this kind of area. I don't know. I can wear a disguise. I have a trench coat yeah. somewhere. We're good. <laughs> you can wear your stormtrooper. <laughs> <laughs> I really like some of these setups that they have here, where they set up like, see, they got like this little wood cubby hole that they can get the screen under, put everything above it. I really want to build something like that now. It's awesome, guys. There are so many computers in here. Look at this giant room here at the conference center next to the Holiday Inn down here at the PDX airport. Sup? Oh, check this out. Somebody brought an HTC Vive and the lighthouses to a LAN party. How antisocial is that? That is a cool case. It's all stripped down to bare metal and polished. This is actually, I believe this is Dingo Modder's case right here, AKA Charlie. Oh, very cool. More custom shelves. It's really cool. You can just get like two spots, put a couple computers up there and have everything kind of hidden in there. It's nice. People can't cheat off your screen during multiplayer games. Oh, this is cool. Check this out. It's looking cool. It's all open up. I like how the fans are on the outside. It's kind of rough looking and unique. I like it. Got the Minecraft R2-D2 case here. That's pretty darn cool. God damn it. Then you hear Rob in the background over there just swearing like a Canadian. I died again. Rob, I'm recording a video here. Jeez. And of course we have the coolest computer right here, the Barnacles Nerdgasm Edition Puget Systems build. Dual Xeon 64 gigs RAM, lots and lots of SSDs, mostly M2s. And it's pretty badass and I love that computer so much. And that's what this video was rendered on before it was uploaded to YouTube. How about that? Now this system was at the last PDX land and actually was given away. It was in a contest, right? Like the raffle, yeah. if I remember right? Oh yeah. That's cool. I like the moon effect in the front. That's sweet. Dude, that's, that's awesome. I never win anything. All right, that is badassery right there. Ooh, I like that. Oh, I like this a lot. Oh, that's cool. Is that all like wood? 
Up on top too? Yeah, he put wood on the top and then uh, acrylic and cut through the back. And oh, this is gone. killer. I like the fan shrouds. This your rig? Yep. Oh, dude, this is this is sweet. Oh, even the GPU. Look at that. Oh, definitely one of the cooler builds here. Thanks. I like it, man. This one gets to come in the video just because it has a dragon on top of it. <laughs> that is it. That is it. That's like a laser cut wood case. Yeah, it's all one piece. The wraps are all. Piece. That's just one piece that all wraps around and folds together. Yeah, and exactly the back. Dude, that is epic. Yep. Lots of really cool stuff here. That's unique. That's something you don't see every day, for sure. I really, really like these open case designs. Yeah. This is too cool. I like the the luminescent fluid that you're using. And are those like black light LEDs? Yeah. So those are. Oh man, that looks awesome. All completely up. No, no heating problems in that one, huh? Nope. Oh wow, this thing is beautiful. Check this out. It's all open like a test bench case. <laughs> Liquid cooled with rigid tubing. Massive amount of white light. That is brilliant white light coming off that thing. Looks like the radiator was even painted to match. That is really, really cool. And pretty unique. The Yoda case. Oh, that looks awesome. That is an amazing paint job. You know what would make that even cooler is if the lightsaber was actually the hard drive LED indicator. That would be awesome. Dude, have you ever thought about hooking up the lightsaber as your hard drive LED? Thought about it. Got the Iron Man case. That is that is sweet. Yeah, it's Dakota. Oh, that is so sweet. Got an arc reactor right here in the front. Oh, that's Reinhardt right there. He puts up a shield and he blocks the crap out of there. All right, so this badassery of system right here belongs to Mr. Darth Beavis, AKA Richard. And uh, it's pretty badass. I forget the name of this particular case, but these things are incredibly expensive and limited edition, and that thing can actually open and close using linear actuators. I like the color, it's very Borgish. Gosh, this thing's pretty. Darth Beavis. No, but you can change the LEDs by the remote too. The color. That's awesome. And it has lasers all around the edge, so uh, it'll have a make a perimeter so your cat or whatever doesn't get in. Oh wow, you can really bring that thing up a lot. Oh yeah, dude, for working on your computer though, that's pretty cool. Just hit a button and it just pops the motherboard out and shoves and it in can, your face. Go out to light, and then you can change the, uh, the LED colors. Dude, what a trip. Blue actually looks. Is it, all, is it Bluetooth connected? Is that how it's talking? Oh, to it's it, or? Uh, uh, yeah, Bluetooth, I think. That's cool. All right, so that's just a few of the awesome builds here that PDX land. There was a lot more. I mean, there's like a ton of computers in here to go over. I just looked at some of the ones that I thought were my personal favorites and ones that you guys might like. Uh, but there, there's definitely a lot more to see. A lot of people here doing really custom stuff, a lot of people just doing clever stuff with out of the box components. But at any rate, every single one of these computers has some kind of personal touch on it from everybody, just like mine has etched uh, etched logo on the side. A lot of people are doing that. Y'all see a lot of lit signs around here. And uh, those are absolutely awesome. I'll have a link in the video description to where you can go to get those lit signs. There's a guy here that does all of them, including mine, and they're, they're epic. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to actually do some gaming at this land for once. And until next time. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot. Also come over to Twitter. I'm at Barnacles. I'm a real social guy. Also, if you have a couple of minutes, check out some of these many other videos. I made them myself.